divide a 50 pound sack of flour evenly by 3. And 50 is not divisible by 3. So when I divide 50 by 3, I will get a decimal number. It is 16.666 pounds. Now I want to express these as so many pounds and ounces. Of course it is going to be 16 pounds. It's this decimal part that I need to convert into so many ounces. Okay? So how do I do that? How do I convert this decimal part, this here, that's many pounds into so many ounces? Okay, that's my question, right? So this is just a conversion between pounds and ounces. Ounces are the smaller units. I need more of them. I will multiply this number times 16. Okay? So 0 0.66666, put lots of 6's in your calculator, times 16, and you will get 10.6666. 10.67, this is rounded now. And so therefore now I can express this as so many pounds and ounces, 16 pounds. And I'll round this to whole ounces now, 11 ounces. So if you have a scale that measures in pounds and ounces, then that's what you would measure. You would measure your flour to be 16 pounds, 11 ounces. How many 6 ounce servings do you get from 9 gallons of coffee? This is a simple problem. We need to just change these 9 gallons to so many ounces, first of all. 9 gallons is how many ounces? And then once we get that number, then we can divide that by 6 to get the number of servings. Gallons to ounces. Remember that was actually 128. The conversion factor is 128. So we got this times 128. And get 1152. And now we divide that by 6 to get how many servings we actually get. Okay, divide by 6. Exactly 192 servings. It was an even division at that. It just happened. Cut a 6 foot board evenly into 11 pieces. Now, if you're a carpenter, you probably usually cut it into 12 pieces or 6 pieces or some other easier number but if you want to cut it evenly into 11 pieces then what happens? Okay, I need to have my answer as so many feet and so many inches but this is of course each piece will be less than one foot so I just want inches so many inches is my answer that I want so I would convert this into inches which is 6 times 12, 72 inches. And now I divide that by 11, right? 72 inches divided by 11. And we get it is 6.5, I'll round this to 6.545 inches. But now you probably want to measure this with a measuring tape that has fractions of an inch. It can have 16th parts of an inch or 32nd parts of an inch. So you want to know how many 32nd parts of an inch will this make. And this is how you can solve that one. Take the decimal part only. Make an equation. How many 32nd parts would it make? This simple equation is solved by multiplying. We multiply both sides by 32. Okay? And then we will get x equals this number times 32. So I go, and the answer is 17.44. So, now we need to drop those decimals, so we will get this is actually 6 and 17 over 32 parts of an inch, if you need to measure with your measuring tape. Okay, well done, and I hope this was helpful.